welcome back to Incibles of I'm going to go over Dwack with you guys, and the reason why is because this is the first week of February, and again, February 21st, we do have Charming the Technology that is expected to launch an app. Are we going to continue on leading into that date? What exact levels are we looking to see if we can hold above and not drop down below to make sure we do not continue on down? What exact indicators will give us confirmation on a continuation from here? And I'll ask in return for all of this as you smash that like button, and I do welcome you to the Instables room in the description below. Nobody cares as much as I do to get these major breakouts in front of you. Go to instables.com in the description below, and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. So let's see what it is. Buddy, 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 the market, look, look, the, huh, the market, the bounces, the market bounces. But, hey, buddy, 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 did you see the whack? Yeah, yeah, that's a trap. The trap thing, the trap thing is gonna, it's gonna blow. I gotta see what it's gonna, what do you think is gonna happen, bro? What do you, what do you think, man? So I'm going to go over DWAC with you guys here on the 5 minute chart and then I'm going to go to the 4 hour chart so you guys can see exactly which key levels we're trying to break above to have a continuation here. Now I do want to mention if you happen to be interested in intraday perspective breakouts, meaning major breakouts that are happening throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss breakout alert today again. So as you guys can see here on the 5 minute chart again on DWAC, as you guys can see we did have a steady amount of volume compared to what we have seen recently, but however we did have a decline in volume, that is why I mentioned high risk. As you guys can see, we did continue on up as the market was continuing on up. But as you guys can see, we are looking to see if we can continue on with this momentum on this buy pressure. As you guys can see, again, we are pretty flat here on this buy pressure. Again, we do have more buy pressure than we do have sell pressure. We are decreasing in sell pressure. We do have our email lines above the MACD here. Again, this is on the five minute chart. So we are going to look at the larger time frames so you guys can see exactly what's going to help us get that continuation momentum. So as you guys can see here on the four hour chart, again, we had a spike recently. Again, we did mention this one in the intervals room when we did have the spike, but as you guys can see, again, we did have a gap down and a lot of people curious if we're going to continue on down from here. We did have a bounce here on the 50 day moving average leading into the first day of the month. Of course, leading into February 21st on the first day of the month. A lot of volume coming in for a lot of people that are thinking that they want to swing this into February 21st. But however, we are just bouncing off of this 50 day moving average. So we didn't make sure we do increase in momentum. And the reason why I say that is because you guys can see we did have a previous gap down and we could not hold the body of the candle above 85. That is why we got rejected. And then we have a 91.50 high that we need to make sure we can continue on past and then we do have a strong $100 psychological resistance that we do need to make sure we can continue on past now we still do have the 20 to moving average above the 50 here showing us that we still could continue and we also do have our email lines above our MACD here showing us that we still could continue but we need to make sure we do increase in momentum as you guys can see we have some buy pressure coming out today but we don't have as much buy pressure as we're looking for to get that major push that we're looking for again if we are going to break past these very strong resistances here in my opinion we do need to make sure we can increase in buy pressure break above all of our previous buy pressure points if we're going to get that major continuation that we're looking for so we will set an alert here above these macd points so that way if we do break above it then we will have more confirmation on this breakout and then we do have our strong levels that we're trying to break above here at 91.50 and 100 again i did mention previously when we had this spike that i would be looking to see if we can break over 100 breaking into 90 into 100 is higher risk in my opinion now if i was looking for a stop loss on this and i was looking to swing this i would be making sure we at least stay over 68 dollars as you guys can see we did consolidate from this gap down and then we had a spike and we did bounce off of our 50 to moving average and this was our consolidation was exactly at $68 and as you guys can see we also did have consolidation before our recent spike exactly at $68 so making sure we do stay over $60 will be very key here if we do continue on down and we do get rejected at $85 and we do drop down below $68 and in my opinion we could have a dead cap bounce here I would be careful now we do have Trump media technology that is expected to launch an app on February 21st so we definitely will keep an eye on DWAC if we do get more confirmation on this breakout then we will be alerted this one in the intervals room as always and again with that said if you happen to be interested in intraday perspective breakouts we mentioned pre-market news before market open every single day any halts worth looking at throughout the day or any major breakout alerts worth looking at throughout the day go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again and again all of you instables that have been coming over and supporting the channel all of you instables that have been coming over from the room and supporting the channel i appreciate everyone you guys every single day much love to everyone you guys and if you guys do like this video it does help you find it and it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in pre-market